What's up and welcome to my point of view. I am your fat and opinionated host and this Bud Light disaster just continues to get worse. You know, I was calling this the battle of the Bud, but in reality, this is a complete massacre. This is annihilation, destruction. This isn't even a battle. We are the clear victors here. Ladies and gentlemen, and it's just getting started. After all, I'm sure Bud Light will be around for years and years to come. So that's just years and years and years of us not drinking Bud Light while making fun of it every chance we get. I look forward to the future jokes I tell about Bud Light when I'm sitting at the bar or hanging out grabbing drinks with friends. But anyways, the NFL draft just happened, and Bud Light was low-key sponsoring this draft, as they always do, and they figured it would be a good time to release a new commercial. Now, of course, like I told you all, I know exactly what they're doing. You could spot it as plain as day. In this commercial, there's country music playing, and it's the it's a totally opposite commercial from the ad that they did with Dylan Mulvaney. You know, the dude that puts on a dress and tries to encourage kids to take hormone blockers and stuff like that. Yeah, that guy. Anyway, this ad was very clearly trying to appeal to conservatives or the more conservative crowd. And it's so blatantly obvious that they are trying to pander to these people after pissing them off. But what Bud Light doesn't realize, and I've said this time and time again, conservatives are not the only one upset by this ad. And a lot of conservatives these days, they're not the traditional conservatives. They're people who have kind of been forced to the right, because there's a lot of weird stuff going on in the other direction. But anyways, point is, they released this commercial. And they released it on their YouTube channel. Now, it got a lot of views. As you can see, it ran up over 6 million views. But ladies and gentlemen, as someone who has... For YouTube channels, I know a little bit about how this, this stuff works. Six million views, and it only has 111 likes. This video that I am making right now, it won't even touch 100,000 views. Unless you guys share it everywhere and support my channel, that would be great. But this video will not even see a hundred thousand views. But I can almost guarantee you that just within the first hour of this video releasing, I will have more than 111 likes. So this shows you that not only are all of these views hate views, but this video is getting ratioed out of control. It might be the biggest ratio I have ever seen. And I have seen a lot. Have you ever paid attention to the recent Disney movie trailers? They get ratioed to death. And that is what is going to happen here. It is so bad that they have turned off their comment section because they already know. They can't run. They can't hide anymore. Y'all wanted to be the company that made the decision to sponsor Dylan Mulvaney. So now you deal with the consequences. And the consequences are, you have turned yourself into a complete joke, just like the dude in a dress that you sponsored. So karma is a real B-I-T-C-H, and karma is nipping at the heels of Bud Light. But the funny part is, this is just getting started. The joke that is Bud Light, it is just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. 
Bud Light has managed to an ever, to forever engrave themselves into pop culture by being the beer company that sponsored Dylan Mulvaney. The beer company that sponsored this dude in a dress that then literally became the perfect example of go woke, go broke. As we watched the company lose billions of dollars in the days after running the ad. As we watched bars, restaurants around the country remove Bud Light from their menus. As we watched Bud Light's sales drop every single week since this happened. This is one of the biggest L's I have ever seen. And honestly, I kind of feel honored to just be a small, a small part of handing this woke piece of crap company the L that they so righteously deserved. So the joke is on Bud Light. You see, Bud Light thought the joke was on us. Ho, we're going to dangle this weird stuff right in your face. We are going to go ahead and sponsor a dude that mocks gay people, that mocks trans people, and most importantly, mocks women. We're going to sponsor this dude. In y'all's faces, we're going to dangle it in your faces to flex what type of power we have. Well... You see how that's working, Bud Light. And hopefully other countries are, are countries. Hopefully other companies have taken note. Because what is happening to Bud Light can happen to any other company that decides they want to enter into the culture war and decides that they want to promote these freaking weirdos to kids let alone promote their beer through weirdos to kids. But with that being said, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and remember to always remain opinionated.